Historically in Hong Kong, uh, railway has been the, the backbone of the transportation network in Hong Kong. So. And also the Shatin Central Link connecting different types of uh, different uh, towns in Hong Kong. So. For ages, China has been winning the race with its ever new advancements in manufacturing industries, construction firms and mining offshore. Being concerned about its economic growth, China is always at the top of the list for transport innovations. What do you think? What's going to be on the board this time? You would probably have put your ears to the mega projects of sky-piercing super-tall towers and a new city with the peak of technology to be offered in it. Or you might have gone through the fastest running bullet trains in Japan and a billion dollar mega project of railway track to be stretched out in the desert. But have you ever come across the shell shocking mega billion dollar mega projects of the underwater railway tracks? At first glance, it may seem like a quiet project that's supposed to be accomplished in the coming years, but a little closer look will put you forward to think. Would an 8,000 mile railway track be stretched out under the ocean from China to the United States? To have a look inside Hong Kong's $11 billion underwater railway, stay stuck to the corner till the end. Before we continue to have a glimpse of China's proposed high-speed underwater rail track, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. This may not be surprising to you that China is running the most expensive and high-speed railway network on this planet. But what's astonishing is, it is still not coming slow in the fields of ever new advancements in engineering and technology. For ages, Hong Kong has been an appealing city with excellence in the masterwork of classic engineering. Beyond the sky-piercing towers of the city, Hong Kong has earned a reputation for the world's best underground rail tracks. And still, there are emerging signs of betterment and heading way. If you have ever been to China, you must have had a travel time through the Mass Transit Railway or MTR, the ultimate backbone of Hong Kong's best public underground train network. This time, China has just rolled the eyebrows of this world toward its mesmerizing underwater railway mega project of $11 billion. The multi-billion dollar railroad network from Sha Tin to Central Link will turn over the public transportation structure of Hong Kong into a blazing and vivid transport web. Nestled at the east of the Pearl River, Hong Kong is an administrative territory in China for years. Hong Kong has been an area of business hub. To your surprise, the city is now turned into one of the world's most spectacular and worth visiting urban civilizations. Since there's never a shortage of things to do in the landscapes of the city, Hong Kong Island is now on the priority list of tourists each year. Hong Kong Island is located on the south corner of the Kowloon Peninsula and the New Territories, where most of the residential units reside. The two regions are surrounded by scant islands and are connected to mainland China as well. Since most of the population in Hong Kong has rooms in Kowloon, a large number of residents have to drive to the Central Territory each day. This has posed a major challenge to transportation facilities in Hong Kong. To put an end to this daily annoyance, project managers at Mass Transit Railway, MTR, have announced and put forward the foundation for Hong Kong's billion-dollar public railway track under the ocean to move four million people each day for their daily happenings. The Sha Tin to Central Link train mega project was addressed. A 17-kilometer railway line stretching undertaken by MTR firms, Sha Tin to Central Link, SCL, is a new railway track construction in Hong Kong and Kowloon. This mega project is going to pull the rail track from Taiwai to Hung Ham and from Hung Ham to Admiralty. This rail extension will certainly interconnect the already existing railway networks in Hong Kong towns. Sha Tin to Central Link will turn out to be an east-west corridor for Hong Kong's territories. This east-west corridor is going to incorporate the already existing Maron Shan line with the West Rail Line. On the other hand, the north-south corner will lengthen the East Rail Line to Hong Kong Island, a much-needed railway track link from Kowloon across Victoria Harbour. This cross-harbour wing competes with the East Rail Line by providing a direct link from the Chinese mainland border to the business hubs in Hong Kong Island. This is an interchange connection between five already existing railway lines. Above this, ten pausing spots, including six interchange stations, will be deemed to put into reality as well. This extended railway track network will make the passengers of the East Rail Line have their direct access to their commercial or financial corners without a need for the interchange. This would exceedingly reduce their travel time. Isn't that just the fulfillment of Hong Kong's public transportation? 
After the initial recommendation of Sha Tin to the Central Link Railway project in 2000, the project was officially approved for further planning in 2008 by the Executive Government of Hong Kong. Mass Transit Railway Corporation integrated the consultation of the public for the construction process of the Sha Tin to Central Link Railway project. Later on, in 2012, the finance delegation of the Legislative Council authorized the financial funding of Sha Tin for the Central Link Railway Line mega project. As the footing of the ground started in the middle of 2012, from Taiwai to Hung Hom, the first phase of the construction process was expected to be completed by 2018, from Hung Hom to Admiralty. The second phase of the billion-dollar underwater railway mega project was thought to be turned into reality by 2020. Above these expectations, the Cross Harbour extension went through some of the heftiest engineering challenges. That an underpass explanation was much needed to prevent the rail tracks from diving sharply underneath the harbour in an attempt to connect the rail track to Hung Hom. To avoid penetration through the bedrock, the masterminds of railway engineers in Hong Kong went to excavate an immersed pipe tunnel out of the seabed. Above this, prefabricated tunnel sections covered with excavated soil were sunk and suited together. Once the whole subject is waterproofed, water is pumped out. And congratulations to Hong Kong's MTR Corporation for their billion-dollar underwater railway project to ensure the massive weight of the tunnel was held on. The seabed was specifically prepared through the pebble spreader, moreover, to put the final tunnel in place. Artificial intelligence technology is to be used to place the rocks into the privileged thickness deck. The engineering excellence went beyond expectations. They used a hydraulic Jacksonville to put the gemstones sliding together. Above this, for a watertight authorization and seal, a gasket was then used to pump the water in an outward direction. That was the spot where a two kilometers long underpass was put into a function from the north corner of Hong Kong Island to the east rail lines with a new terminal at Admiralty Station. Isn't it just a densely built zone of Hong Kong? Anyhow, when the tunnel was set to be operational and managed somehow to cut its way through the bursting station of Hong Kong, it was a hell-busy sight to the extent that it was engaged in serving three active lines through the Hong Kong towns along with two lines, the Twin One Line and the Island Line. Later on, the South Island Line was initiated as well. Surprisingly, the South Island Line project was helpful such that it exempted the space required for Sha Tin to Central Link Railway Mega Project. The already possessed island tunnel line was then lengthened up to 60 meters to put the ambition of the Admiralty Mega Project into existence. More than 650,000 tunnel waivers were replaced with 5,000 shafts of steel. Consequently, a newly imagined Admiralty Mega Project was then put into a reality station along with three other mass transit rail connecting the extended East Rail Line. Hats off! Another victory for Hong Kong's transportation firm. Architectural engineering in Hong Kong was never far behind the list of achieving accomplishments. The crowded towns of Hong Kong are now connected, and travel time between them is significantly lessened after these underwater railway track projects. This billion-dollar mega-project for a railway track under the ocean has emerged as a triumph in the transport scrimping of Hong Kong. In May 2022, when the East Rail Line stretching track was set to function for the public, a large number of its die-hard fans crowded the station to reserve their first passage. It may seem late for quite two years or more, but die-hard fans of Sha Tin to Central Link have fixed a bar for the opening of infrastructure, even when it still has a seal for approval. Let us know in the comments how you reflect on this underwater railway track in Hong Kong. Before leaving, make sure to give a thumbs up if you have liked the content. Also, share it with your friends living in Hong Kong or having a plan to visit Hong Kong in near future.